This DVD was made by Northeast Historic Film of Bucksport, Maine, at the request of staff at the archives at the Library of the University of Maine in Orono. Uh, the footage was made in Quebec, Canada, in the year of 1934, by my father, Earl Shaw. And at the time he took these pictures, we lived in the settlement of St. Javit's Station, Quebec, my father often used to take us in the woods to see some of the spring run, log run, because it was so exciting to watch. There's a big load, heavy, heavy load. When we visited the logging camp, the cookie would always have some great big beautiful cookies for us to eat. Might be sugar cookies filled with raspberry jam, might be molasses. They were always delicious. Some of the men working. If you didn't have a horse, you could use an oxen to travel around in the woods or anywhere. It wasn't a common sight, but now and then you'd see it. PVs uh, were invented in Maine. It was a pole with a hook on the end of it and a straight piece of metal so that you could trap it, trip it shut to hook onto the log and then close the flat piece and pull it or push it wherever you wanted it to go. It was a sluice way. The logs riding over it and headed straight down the river. It looks to me like a log jam that they've just loosened and it's on the move again. Sometimes if they wanted to get down river in a hurry or wanted to cross over to the other side, these woodsmen would ride a log. Uh, they had cocked boots that helped them to stay on them and they'd use their peavies for balance and they would roll that log over and over and over, which would make it travel to the other side of the stream. Uh, had to be very quick on your feet. Now, now you can see how they maneuver the bateau with the rower holding his oar in the air to get it out of the way. My father bought a Kodak camera, one of the first that Kodak made, a movie camera, they took 8 millimeter and 16 millimeter films and learned how to do the splicing. So he's, some of these shots are taken on different rivers and they, he has spliced them together to explain the procedure all the way from beginning to end. So you see what happens to a tree while it's still growing on the mountainside all the way until it gets to its destination.